Welcome back to my messy lab. I just quickly wound a 43 type mixture, a toroid, again in the one to one style, just like the 31 toroids. And I have it hooked up to the spectrum analyzer. We're gonna run from 1.8 megahertz all the way to 50 megahertz. So that's quite a wide range. And right now it's set up in a normal operating mode. So where we have the signal coming in on one side, the blue side, and the ground going back on the orange side of the setup. And we have pretty much no attenuation here. I think we can zoom in a little bit on that side a little bit later to see what's going on because that's a wide range anyway. But I think that's probably nothing to be worried about too much. So let's go ahead and simulate the common mode. So we put the grounds together. And now we see here the attenuation. So it definitely drops down here nicely. Let's get the marker out so we can see where we are. And if we move the marker over to right here where it goes above 30. So that's 3.8 megahertz. So that means 40 meter would be fine too because that's 7 megahertz really there. So yeah, the choking capability on 40 meter is good. On 80 meter it's still acceptable if it's 3.8 is where yeah, 30 meter is about and then obviously at 1.9 I mean it's not extremely horrible but things seem to go all the way up to now we're at 40 megahertz So 46, 45, there we have 27, 28 dB. How about we just zoom in a little more on the HF side and then we can zoom in a little bit more on the um, VHF side as well because that goes fairly high up. So let's go back to the frequency and say the start Oh, we actually have from zero start frequency all the way to 50. Okay, I thought it was from 1.8. Let's type in one. No, back. One. 1.8 megahertz. All the way to 14. Yeah, let's go ahead just type in 14 so stop frequency 14 megahertz so that's right before we hit let's go ahead and also um, calibrate the system here again just to make sure we're still in calibration so normalize here okay and now we go ahead and check out the common mode current so I'm clipping it on the blue one. It really doesn't matter which one. Electricity doesn't care about the color of the wire. And yeah, I mean, that is not bad. So what am I dealing with? Ah, oh, I'm messing here around. Okay, let's try this again. Oops. I was moving the dial that I shouldn't have moved. Oh yeah, so let's go ahead and normalize this signal level. Let's put it back down to 20. So normalize, that's good. Let's go over to the marker so I don't mess up things. Let's go ahead and hook that up again. On the blue ones and we are here. Okay, so back to the markers. So where we hit 30 decibel, negative 30 decibel that is, 
is around yeah around 3.9 megahertz and then we go up to negative 25 24 about so yeah it's not really bad either for the lower HF but definitely has a better advantage up on the higher HF so it's a really a trade-off what you want to do there so if you go all the way up to so jump faster oh yeah there we go we go all the way up to 14 so there we have 5 dB more on there so that's kind of the question like will those 5 dB make a big difference or not I mean that's kind of logarithmic so it's probably nice to have that if you're staying up on the higher side of the frequency if you go ahead and just change the frequency the start frequency to zero and so here we see a little bit more let's go to the markers and jump over to our so yeah so at nine kilohertz the spectrum analyzer will stop so but yeah before that you see already here it's just the attenuation isn't there at all so for lower bands than 160 meter I wouldn't consider that core uh, I mean even 160 meter I wouldn't consider it <laughs> so that would be 1.9 over there right here so yeah I would go with, with the 31 core on that for sure if you're just doing 80 meters I occasionally and you're mostly on your up on the 20 meters so then it's probably a better core to go with slightly better okay that's for us it just a small little update on the 43 toroid mix and it really performed as expected on the lower end a bit better than i thought it would so till next time, see you and tschüss.